Good evening and welcome to another Watson's Whiskey Review. Well, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I actually thought I was going to retire from it, but um, there's a whiskey that's brought me out of retirement. Um, there's a whiskey that's making big waves in the whiskey fraternity, so I thought I'd better review them. And that's the Audi Highland Black. Now, this whiskey, it's been around a while. It's been talked about a lot. It's won gold medals in the last two years at Whiskey Championships. And it's also been called the best whiskey in the world. It can't be, it's 12 99 it's from Aldi. So let's have a look at him. It's a mix of Speyside and Highland Moats and grain whiskies. It's a, it's a blend, it's eight years old, it's an age statement on the bottle. It's not an old age statement, but it is a statement. And we all like an age statement, don't we? So um, it's eight years old, um, like I said, blend of grain and malts, Highland and Speysides. Um, the bottle is cheap as hell, the packaging is cheap as hell, and it's a screwed top. You can see I've drunk a bit of it, so I know a bit about it. Let's get in the glass, see what we've got, and go from there. So the colour has definitely had caramel added to that. Um, it might not have done, but I'm guessing it, it has. Um, so let's have a look, let's put them in the nose. Hmm, interesting. Alcohol hits you straight away, but obviously it's gunning, it's eight years old. There's a little bit of caramel there. A little bit of vanilla. Toffee. It's very sweet on the nose, very sweet. I like the colour. I like the sweetness, but what's intriguing me is if you look on the internet at Audi Highland Black, it's been it's been said as the best whiskey in the world. It's twelve pound ninety nine. Let's have a taste. Oh, it's smooth. Tiny hits of chili straight away. That moves into a smooth kind of coffee flavour. Coffee latte. Oh, orange zest right on the end there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. For 12 99 that's not a bad little whiskey, that. It's more space side than the Highland to me. The character of space side really comes through there, I think. Don't specify what distilleries, but it's got a Belvini kind of taste to it, that is. A little bit of heat just at the end, just hits your throat, which is always very nice. A bit of orange zest, orange, orange peel. A little bit of banana as well in the background, a bit of banana. Maybe a pecan pie there as well. The colour's nice, the nose is nice, the flavour's nice. It's twelve ninety nine. What's it not to like? I don't think that's a bad whiskey actually. For twelve ninety nine, I don't think that's bad at all. It's nice, not the most complex whiskey you're ever going to taste. Um, but certainly, and it's certainly not the best whiskey in the world. Let's not let's be honest here. But it's not bad at all actually. Twelve ninety nine. That's not bad. Very fruity, very space side. It's got a real melted barley, banana-y, kind of peaking space side taste to it, fruity. But um, that's nice, that is nice. 12 99 from Audi. If you're into your whiskies, I'd to just pick one of those up. It's 12 99 You can mix up with Coke. Do what you want with it. That's not a bad whiskey. Guys, I'm open to get back into these doing reviews. I know a lot of you like them. I've had a lot of messages, people asking me, say, when are you going to get back on the review trail? Well, I've started tonight. I've done one tonight. I'm going to get back into it and do some more reviews because Christmas is coming up. So um, I'm going to get some more reviews to, um, for you guys. I know you enjoy them. Thanks for watching.
Sí, sí. 